Hey guys, it's Alex here with the local lowdown here at Amityville Music Hall uh, with a little band called Mega Mango. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is uh, Nico Jones. I play bass. I'm Crow. I, I sing and I play guitar. Uh, my name is Sam Pohl and I play drums. And my name is Alex. I play guitar. Another Alex. I like to see it. <laughs> well, your newest single, Blurt, just came out as of a few days of this recording, uh, filled with all that fruity bedroom indie rock becoming a fruit core. Uh, but I want to know, what was the inspiration and background to this single in particular? Um, the, uh, I don't know, for Blurt, it kind of, I've been struggling to uh, bite my tongue in, in a lot of situations lately. I, I tend to have a bit of a impulse control issue <laughs> from time to time um, and uh, I don't know I guess Blurt is kind of about learning to walk the line um, healthily and and be able to speak your mind but also you know not burn every bridge as you come across it you know just that's it yeah <laughs> So we've been seeing kind of a trend with the bands we've been interviewing on The Local Lowdown, a shift of focus into, towards singles instead of EP and album releases. Uh, is this Mega Mango's plan as well after two years of singles? And if not, uh, is there something bigger on the horizon? Well, we've been planning for a little bit to actually put all of the recent singles into a, uh, an EP. Um, we have one more, I believe. Yes. Uh, for a board game theme DP because it's Ooh. all they're all named after board games like yes. Risk. Sorry, um, uh, no one seems to really have a clue what the next one's gonna be, but we're gonna we're gonna come through with that pretty soon as a yeah. single and then do an EP. Sweet, nice to hear. Nice to hear. Can't wait for it to come out. I'll definitely yeah. be checking it out. But this next question specifically for Nico. Uh, <laughs> yo yo. I do some research before each of these interviews, okay. and uh, I learned a little bit that you grew up in a beach town and you were thrown on house shows for a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'd love to know how this experience in particular shaped your input uh, towards the music choices of the band, and of course your role as the self-appointed vibe technician. I'd love to know <laughs> how this affects your yeah, choices here. Yeah, no, so yeah, I mean, shouts out to the 760, San Diego, like uh, Encinitas, Cardiff, California, like that's where that's where, where, where I'm from, what I'm about. Um, yeah, we threw in a lot of house shows and that kind of inspired me to like, kind of pursue a music career, um, apply to Drexel University and, you know, get involved with like all, all of my band members. Um, yeah, so like we're just having um, sort of just. Uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for the words, but like after, kind of we took a hiatus after like 2018 and going back to California and coming back to the project uh, for Boggle and for Sorry and mm -hmm. and Risk. Like, I had a lot of time just to kind of like sit with my instrument and sort of tailor my sound. I mean, I played a lot of like surf rock and punk back there. And kind of bringing that to Mega Mango, we all have sort of different influences in all of our playing styles. So, you know, like from where we're all from. So, yeah, I don't know. Coming back to it, I mean, I couldn't be more stoked. This has been like a wonderful experience. And yeah, stoked to play live again, honestly. Yes, <laughs> very, very nice to see live music coming back. And when I was doing my research, I saw the vibe technician thing. I definitely yeah. chuckled a little bit. <laughs> but also, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to hold it down. Yeah, you got to hold yes. it down. It's about composure, mm -hmm. feeling nice. But while going through the website, I was looking. Now, I have two jobs on this show. One is to take care of all this tech stuff, which is like, you know, the official job. But yeah. second is being the official merch gremlin of the group. And oh, I got to say, I was looking for merchandise, and that Wait. store is not having any merchandise on it at the moment. Now, I got to ask, is mm. there any plans bringing that store back up? Mm. And what could we see on that merch store in the near wow. future? We, um, yeah, it went down for a little bit, but, uh, I mean, can we say this right now? I mean, Alex, you, I, Alex, go for it. Um, we actually, uh, just finished working on a, a new round of designs for some merch to relaunch, um, and we're hoping to do that very soon, but the merch store will be coming back strong. Huzzah! Uh, promised. <laughs> courtesy of, uh, I mean, oh, courtesy of Crow's partner, um, Kenny. She does all of our art for our album art and also for this new line of like merchandise that we're doing and we couldn't be more excited to like finally have physical 
goods again. <laughs> I don't know. Something for people to wear. <laughs> she, she, so her title is the uh, Basement Gremlin. Which oh, I feel like, fellow uh, Gremlin, I, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. I feel like um, that fits the, you know, it fits the theme here. But yeah, so, so uh, her uh, Instagram is uh, Basement Gremlin. That's why. Mm. <laughs> I, I gotta ask out. though, will there be any uh, releases on physical media? You know, any CDs, cassettes, maybe some vinyl in the near future? We really want to. Uh, it's always been a dream of mine. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it, I mean, we really, really want to at some point. You know, get some. I don't know. Potentially vinyl, potentially CDs, potentially tapes. I don't know. Whatever people want. We do like polling, try to see what the fans would you know really consume. Mm -hmm. um, but. It would be really dope to drop a vinyl one day at some point. It looks, yeah, it looks like like the um, the so far it seems that our fans would like a vinyl. Um, so I feel like that's something we we definitely would want to do in the future. Just looking into the options and to you know pressing them. You know, mm. that's the hard part. A mango colored vinyl would indeed look Dude, excellent in my personal bright orange, collection. Just like <laughs> aggressively orange and reflective. I would I would love it. <laughs> and finally, one last question for you all before I let you go. Uh, I'm sure you've been asked this plenty of times, but I got to admit, being the forerunners of Philly Fruit Corps, and I couldn't find the answer anywhere. I scoured the entire internet to see if I could find this answer. What are your favorite fruits? Because I couldn't find the answer anywhere. Oh my god, well, fun fact, I'm actually a little allergic to mangoes. I did, I did hear about that. <laughs> Just a little bit. We can't tell anybody that, though. That stays, no, I'm joking. Um, I think my favorite fruit would be oranges. Simple. I like a, like a citrus. Respectable choice. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely a, a banana fiend. Actually, on the way here today, uh, we stopped at a bodega um, in New York, and I, I got probably like eight bananas. It was good. It was like for like Five bucks it was great. Tell you what, all my friends make fun of me for liking bananas, but banana is my favorite fruit. They're too. sleeping on it. They're yeah. sleeping on the banana. Yeah, you, they, I can't believe it, but yeah, bananas. I uh, I don't know if strawberries count as a fruit. Strawberries uh, are fruit. That's a fruit. That's a fruit. That's a fruit. Berries fruit. Close enough. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stand by the tomatoes as fruits, and as, as an Italian, personally, <laughs> that is my favorite fruit. I use it on everything, you know? Like, it's, it's a very versatile, I cook a lot too. So like, that's like one of the things I like try to keep on me at all times. That is a hot take, but personally, personally. very respectable. Well, once again, thank you, Mega Mango, for uh, sitting here and talking with me. Once again, this has been Alex on the local lowdown here at Amityville Music Hall. We'll see you in the next interview. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> I wanna blurt out something I probably shouldn't say, but I've got